Next, we want to add our staff. Let's get started with that. We go to get started. As you can see, now it's time to add your staff. The rest of the things are done. So we click on that and we begin with staff details by adding the name of the first staff member. And the last name, keep our default group, add the email address, and the cell phone number. So we display this phone number for, for customers to see when scheduling appointments. We also decide notifications of text and email. We want to synchronize this with our, uh, our calendar. In this case, it's Google Calendar. And we're going to save these changes. The process is to co copy that embed code to our calendar, save them and their changes are saved, so now we've accomplished this task.